Yo, what's going on, Leaf Nation? It's Leaf, you're back again, and welcome back to Monopoly Hut episode number four. And today is a special one. It's team of the year, baby. So yeah, team of the year has arrived, NHL Hockey Ultimate Team, and we have some big boy packs that we have chances to get those big boy pa packs. Um, so let's just get right to the board and start rolling the dice here. Okay, so last episode we left off on chance. If we get a one or a five, we get those special packs that we want here. So let's get it. Okay, like I said, one or a five is what we want here. Dice, be good to us. We get a five. I, not much of a roll, but it's a five. So a five is open up one special pack. Now, before I show you what special packs are out, I'm going to show you what cards are out. So team of the year, you, you know the cards. Pasta, Dry Seidel, Panarin, Makar, Hedman, Vasilevsky. Uh, we also have... Some decent prime times out, Jared Spurgeon being the best one there. Uh, some fantasy upgrades. We got that great team of the week still out. And yeah, these are the special packs that are out. Um, we have, you know, these team of the year ones, they're not the greatest. Jumbo premium player packs. The ultimate choice pack is what we're looking for. So we have one. We're not going to count the choice pack as one. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of these special packs out, so we got to head to the random number generator to see what pack we get. So ideally, we're trying to get a four or five here for those two big boy packs. Let's generate a number. We get a five. That is the ultimate choice pack. Oh, baby. So just to make sure, one, two, three, four, five. Ultimate choice pack. My goodness. Um, we have a 53% chance of getting an 86 plus player. So this is should be a huge upgrade. I think it's about five rounds No more waiting here boys. Let's open it up 2,500 points down the drain. We're hoping for a team of the year I, I Can't cap. We're hoping for a team of the year here. So Robin Lehner a nice little goalie upgrade 84 Dylan Strom a new prime time not bad uh, Nikita Gusev and team of the week Graves. So let's go I think Laner would be an upgrade, but Markstrom played great. I'm going to go with Strom and Graves just because the two special cards. Why not? Oh, we get three picks. Let's take Laner too then. Okay, this is a good ultimate choice pack then. I thought it was only two picks here. Kyle Turris. Allmark. Ugh, okay, not the greatest round followed by here. It doesn't really matter who we take, I guess. I'm going to take the lower overalls to begin. We got three more rounds here. We need a purple card. Drew Doughty is a big pull. 85 overall. That is a huge upgrade to our defense. We made huge upgrades last episode. So this is another huge upgrade to the defense. Noah Hannafin. Uh, Gustav Nyquist. And a Philip Forsberg. So we'll take Forsberg, Hannafin, and Drew Doughty. Not a bad round. Come on. Give me a purple tinted player here. Come on. Jonathan Quick. Nick Bonino and Colin Wilson, so we'll go for the 380 overalls. Why not? We're not going to use quick anyways. Last round. Come on, EA, please. Varlamov, not what we're looking for. Sean Monaghan, we need a purple in here. We haven't pulled an 86, and we won't pull an 86. But hey, Jack Eichel, John Gibson, so that figures out our goal tonight situation. And Sean Monaghan, not a bad pack, I guess. We didn't pull an 86. We had a, what, 50, 53% chance of pulling one, and we didn't pull one, which kind of sucks. But, hey, 385 overalls, big upgrades to the team, not bad. Okay, we did something here, and I think it works. So, these are the updated lines. I'm just going to I'm gonna show one now. Nylander, Duchesne, Gurionov stayed the same. Second line, Gustav Nyklas was playing on his right hand. I wanted him on his offhand. So, we have him, Eichel, and Forsberg. Third line, Nylander, Kuznetsov, Dylan Strom, and then JVR Monaghan, Wayne Simmons. And we did get Workhorse activated, which is huge for these four cards. Not too bad here. Not too bad for us. We got Drew Doughty playing with Mikhail Sergachev, Roman Yossi with Josh Manson, and Neil Pionk with Jake Muzzin. And like I said before, starting that minor first now is John Gibson. While we're here, let's do a little silver upgrade. We can get rid of some silvers, maybe pull a team in the air in one of these. Who knows? All right, here we go. I mean, I've seen some crazy pulls out of these. You just never know here. No cut. And okay. Okay, so we're back in silver ranking. Time to grind for gold. Time for some big debuts out of this team. Let's get a W here. All right, here we go. Game number one of the episode. We're looking to keep the streak alive. We are 1-0. Alright, we are 6-0 in the series. Looking to go 1-0 here. And to improve to 7-0. So here we go. We got Svetch. 
Not sure. Kuznetsov on center. And then Crosby on the wing, I saw. So here we go. Let's get it, boys. Good hit there. Get that across. Bang! Jack Eichel with his first chance. I think it hit the post or he saved it and he hit the post. Good chance, though. Good save. That was a bad rebound, but he recovered. Right across. Neil Pionk. The tip there. What a save from Rask. I cannot believe that. End of one. And, I mean, we only have two shots. Time and attack is better, but TOA means nothing nowadays, apparently. Um, I just want to see. It looks like all base cards. This guy's a decent player. I'll give him that. 87 Landeskog there. I think we could win this game. This is definitely a winnable game, though. We just need to figure out Tuka Rask here. I feel like once the first one goes in, it's, the floodgates will open. Across. There it is. I went silent there. Gurionov over to Duchesne. 1-0. We figured out Rask. We love to see that. We love it. Sergachev over to Doughty. Let's get that one T from him. The deflection. Great save by Rask there. That almost trickled through the five hole. That pass got through me. That's unbelievable. No, no, no. Thank God it was a backhand shot. And he dunks. Good to see. Good to see. Stupid play by me. Cost us a goal. GG. I thought that pass was going to get through. Clearly not. Now we got to work for a goal. Go Nylander, get that across, Duchesne, Nylander to Duchesne, this first line is a buzzing this game, 2-1, that's it, that's it, we gotta run with it now. Let's go Pionk, get that across, oh what a poke man, he just saved himself a goal there. Jake Muzzin, what a poke, but he doesn't get it, Romani goaling, no, not the play from us, I thought we were up by 2 to be completely honest, shouldn't have Manny goalie 2-2, two -two. I'm giving this kid the easiest goals of his life. Here we go. Get that across. Gurionov. Oh, like I said, first line is buzzing. I don't even know if that was the first line that was out. I don't think so. Gurionov gets his first. We're back up on top. We need the insurance marker here because clearly I cannot play defense today. We need that insurance marker. I do not feel comfortable in this game at all because I just have not been playing defense at all today, I guess. Get that across. Bang. Gurionov. Second of the game. 4-2. That's the insurance marker we needed. It's okay. Willie's got this. Play that over to Strom. Ryan Strom in his debut. And that should be a rage quit. And that's it. What a way to end it. William Nylander, I think it was. Over to Dylan Strom in his debut. I think that was a 4-5-2 goal. So, let's go. Getting our way closer to gold. Beautiful. And, I mean, looking at the stats, we just clearly deserved that game. I hate to say it. All right. We are rolling the dice for the second and final time this episode. What will we get? That is a four. Don't mind the dirty floor. Nice rhyme for no reason. A four it is. So a four, if I'm not mistaken, one, two, three, four is one special pack. My goodness. The dice has blessed us today. Okay, so we're back at the random number generator. One through seven. We cannot open up the ultimate pack again. It was just a one limit. So we're looking for a four here, ideally. Let's see what we can get. Generate a number. And we get a one. I don't, think I don't think this is worth it. No, it's not. Okay, one through seven here. We're looking for a four, maybe even a seven. I don't know. So let's see what we can get here. Generate a number and we get a four. Okay. Four is a jumbo premium players pack. Looking at the odds, 10% chance at an 86 plus. I doubt we get anything good because that ultimate choice pack was horrible but pasta on the cover maybe we can get a team of the year pasta so let's see what we can get here i, I didn't read the description i don't know how many 80 pluses we get so we're going blind into this no 80 pluses yet though which is could be a good sign Jonas corpasalo doubt we use him damon severson doubt we use him um harkins H hegelson scandela my goodness no way we're not going to pull anything here holmstrom Oh my, this pack is not good at all. Brandon Dillon, Don Scoy. Oh my, boys, this is not looking good. Peter Mrazek, we already have him. Carl Soderberg, and that is it. Wow, pack luck was not on our side today. That is for damn sure. Our best pull was an 81 out of that. Yikes. That means no upgrades to the team, unfortunately. So I guess we just head into the next game. Alright guys, so it's been a couple days since I recorded from game one 
Um, so we got a little mini pack there. Uh, team of the year has dropped. I think we went through that last episode, so we're good with that. We got these American cards, um, some new silver upgrades, a new team of the week. And the reason I'm saying that is Rivals Rewards are now available. So we are going to try and pull something. So we have one NHL Players Pack, one Prime Pack. I think it makes sense just to go untradeable. It's not like we're going to sell the cards if we get someone good um, because we have a chance of going bankrupt, right? So we have a little bit of a pack opening before game two. Some more packs to throw on top of this. Uh, hopefully they're good. We'll start off with the mini pack. We're still aiming. We haven't pulled a team of the year on the Monopoly account. We are hoping to pull one on the Monopoly account today. Who knows? Anything is possible. That is for sure. Mini packs always are garbage for the most part. Some people have pulled team of the years in them, but for the most part they're garbage. Prime packs aren't the greatest as well. Matthew's on the cover though. Maybe we get a team of the week. We just want to see that purple tint with a team of the year card behind that uh, i doubt we pull anything here we might just skip these ones to be honest uh nothing that will upgrade to the team got another prime pack here I'm gonna just skip it i don't think we pull anything in these and we don't not even a gold tinted player so for these packs they're decent nhl players packs 10 items all gold nhl players with at least 480 plus overalls we're gonna try and test our luck with these maybe a team of the year hiding in one of these packs it'd be great to have all right so i'm getting a buck of Definitely won't make the team. Seabrook won't make the team. That's one or one of the four 80 pluses. Here we go. Oh, okay. Vlasic. Don't think he'll make the team. I think that's two of our 80. So we have two more left. Tyler Ennis. All right. Michael Matheson. We got one more 80 plus overall. Franz Nielsen. Uh, Montable. Mike Ritchie. And that's it. No one to make the team, unfortunately. Second pack here. God. Please give me something good here. Something to at least upgrade the team if you don't want to give me a team of the year. There's two of our 80 pluses already. Make that three. Beautiful. Make that four. Kyle Palmieri. That's probably the rest of the pack. Mark Giordano might make the team. Palmieri might also make the team. So not too... Those two pulls aren't too bad. Uh, Silverberg. Okay. Victor Rask. Cogliano. And Brian Elliott. Not the greatest packs. Dame, Damon Severson is going to come in for Neil Pionk. And unfortunately, uh, Jake Muzzin is coming out of the lineup for um, Mark Giordano. Not a bad card to use as well. So the defense did get upgraded here. All right, final game of the episode. First one for this week in Rivals. We are playing, I'm not going to, I don't know. If it seems like we're playing a Finnish guy here. Possibly, so let's see what we can do. Hopefully we get a W. Voracek, I don't know who that is on the draw there. He's got Marshawn on the side. We're hoping for another win to keep the perfect streak alive here, boys. There you go. Get that across. Bang! Dylan Strom. That is prime time Dylan Strom. Getting that pass from William Nylander and absolutely sniping it. Top chatter. Let's go, baby. Let's go, Dylan Strom. Get that in front. Dylan Strom having himself a shift. Passing it over to Kuznetsov. Make that 2 nothing. Let's go, boys. I am a big fan of this Dylan Strom card. I, I cannot lie to you guys. Giordano making his debut shift here. Debut game in general. He can do the move that Yossi couldn't. And Garyanov puts it into the back of the net. Giordano gets himself a debut assist. And I think that was like 10 seconds later, and we scored another one. 3 0. Let's go. End of one. We're up 3 0. We're playing good. There's nothing much else to say. Let's go, Strom. Or Strom. Let's go, Giordano. Oh my, the deflection. And I said one more goal, and he should be gone. That should be it, folks. And there it is. We take a win. First or second game of the episode. First of the rival week. Big W. So that one win almost puts us into silver. Surprised we haven't been promoted to Div 7 yet, but I'm not complaining. And I mean, looking at the stats, again, a well-deserved win. We stay perfect um, in Rivals. Anyways, guys, that is it for today's Monopoly Hut episode. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to drop a like on it. If you guys are new around here, make sure to hit the subscribe button. We are closing in, or we are aiming for 4,000 subscribers somewhat soon. Um, hopefully, the Team of the Year edition of Monopoly Hut is good. We should have one more episode of a Team of, Year, a team of the Year edition episode coming out. Um, hopefully that next episode we have better pack look where we can pull a Team of the Year. But regardless, that is it for today. Thank you guys very much for watching. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace!